Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the volume of a pyramid. First of all, what is a pyramid? A pyramid is a 3D figure that has a base and it has an apex and has a point. Basically, I always think of the Egyptian pyramids um, to decide what's a pyramid and what's a prism because those are very confusing to students. So a pyramid has a point at the top and a prism has parallel bases top and bottom. Okay, but the volume of these and to find the volume of these is very, very similar. Okay, the volume of a prism is one uh, is equal to the base area times the height. Now the difference between that and a pyramid is we're going to take one third of that volume. So we're going to actually find the volume of the prism and then divide it by three or multiply it by one third. So let's look at some different types of bases. First you can have a square base. So the area of the base would be just side squared. So in this base area formula for a square base you would just plug in side squared times the height and then multiply it by one third or divide it by three. If you had like a right triangular base you would take one half the base times the height of the this part of the um, pyramid and then you would take that one half base times height of the base and then multiply that times the height of the whole pyramid or the altitude of the pyramid. And you could have something like this which is a rectangular base and to find the uh, area of a rectangle you're just going to take base times height so if you're looking down straight on it it's just base times height of the base and that gives you the base area and then you're going to multiply it times the altitude or the height of the actual um, pyramid. So you're going to take one half, or one third the base times the height when you're just looking at the base and then you're going to multiply it times the height of the pyramid or the altitude. So there are three different figures and three different formulas that go in to find the volume. So let's take one of these. Let's look at just the, the one that has a square base. Let's say the side of the square is 4 and we know that the altitude or the height inside is 5. What would the volume be? Well you're just going to plug in 4 squared and times 5. So that's going to be 16 times 5 which is 80. But then we have to take one third of the volume, so we're going to multiply it by one third, which is the same as dividing by three. So that's 80 thirds would be the volume. And you could leave it like that or put it in your calculator, 80 divided by three to get the decimal. Okay, so there's one example. Let's look at um, this right triangular base. This one gives the students trouble. Okay, let's say that we have uh, one side of the base is eight. This side is six. Well, if this is where the right angle is, we know that these are the legs. So we're going to look at that. Let's redraw it over here. All we need to do is find the area of that triangle. The area of that triangle is one half the base, which is six, times the height, which is eight. Half of six is three, and three times eight is twenty-four. So that's the base area of this triangular base and let's draw in an altitude. Let's say the altitude is 7. We're going to take that, plug it in over here into the formula. One third the base area. We just use that one half base times height to figure out it's 24 times the height of the pyramid which is 7. So one third of 24 is like 24 divided by 3 so that's 8 and 8 times 7 is 50 6. So that's units cubed. And that's how you would find the volume of the pyramid. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. I hope this video is helpful.